Today I feel compelled to share with you something that I think is important. Uh, too many of us nowadays invest too much in money, uh, in material things. Um, retirement, for your 401k, your IRA, your savings, your future, your money. And what many people don't realize is your retirement uh, is not guaranteed. Uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. And nowadays in this materialistic world that we live in, we want too much things, things that are finite. We give too much emphasis and too much energy on things that are gonna fade away, are gonna pass away, right? So what I quickly wanna do here, I don't wanna make it very long, but just share with you from the Bible, things like this, right? Uh, in the book of Job, everyone should understand this book. It's most likely the oldest or the first written book in the Bible, even though it's not the first book. Uh, Job was a very rich man. He lost everything. In the book itself, he had a debate with God, uh, realized how feeble, how little he is, and he ended up getting everything back more, double, triple than what he lost. But there's a very interesting quote <clears throat> when, the very beginning of the book, when he lost everything, lost his children, lost his property, lost his wealth, lost everything. What does he say? Here, chapter one, verse 21, and he said, naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, too much emphasis is put on being rich, making money. This brings you happiness, and it doesn't. We come to this world naked. We are born, we're innocent, and we depend on our parents. Why should that change when we're an adult? We have a Heavenly Father, and we should be depending on Him. Uh, we work, we have to, we have things we need to take care of, but our future is in His hands. And when we die, which we are all one day gonna physically die, we're not gonna take any of those things with us. Our money is not gonna go with us. Our, our riches, the cars you have, the homes, the nice clothing, this is not gonna go with you. Steve Jobs, very rich man, he's gone. Didn't take his money with him. So you see, we plan for the future, we plan for our retirement, but it's not guaranteed. So few people actually invest in eternity, actually think and, and take in consideration where you're gonna go. Life is through Christ and only through Christ. Uh, to wrap this up, where I read in Job, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. The Lord gave and the Lord takes away. Jesus teaches similarly this. Um, in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew chapter 6, he's talking about lay up treasure in heaven where your heart is, or I should say where your treasure is, that's where your heart is, All right? He tells us not to worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about the things, but put God first. Uh, let me read this, okay? Um, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also, right? Um, 
God says, Christ, Jesus Christ says, you cannot serve two masters. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he'll be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And what is mammon? Here the book says mammon in literature, it means riches. So you can't serve riches and God. You can't serve money and God. It's one or the other. Now, I'm not saying as a Christian we have to just give up all our money and give it all to charity and stuff. No, but we need to use it wisely. We need to use all our energy. We need to use all our time. We need to use our focus to fulfill God's work, to do our part, right? Whether that be taking care of our own family, whether that be helping others, whether that be donating to a church or a service, but we need to use all the tools and skills that God has given us for His glory. Um, and as Christians, we need to love. Uh, we need to sometimes speak hard truth to people, um, which I was talking about in my yesterday's post that um, it's hard to do, you know? So I wanna leave it at that. I just wanted to make just a quick video uh, about this. Good morning, Felipe, good morning, Ty. Um, wanted to make a quick video about this, just trying to get our focus right, to get our focus on God, right? Get our focus on what He wants us to do, right? Jesus, I mean, just to go along on this theme here, Jesus says, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you're going to eat, what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not your life more than food, and is your body not more than clothing? Jesus says, and this verse here, the verse I'm about to read now is the verse that's carried me since I was a teenager. I remember reading this verse and it, it has helped me not to stress, not to worry so much about what am I going to do? And we, we have these struggles sometimes. Oh my gosh, I have bills to pay. I got things to do. What am I going to do? And, and this verse has always grounded me. Listen, Matthew 6, 26. Look at the birds of the air. For they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valued than they? I think we are. Scripture itself says we're made in the image and likeness of God. So, um, invest your time, invest your energy, invest your money on things for the kingdom. Don't. Don't put too much emphasis on material things. Don't put too much emphasis on money, on cars, on clothing, on parties, uh, on these things to get praise from other people because God warned you, if, you get, if your focus is this, if you get your praise, if you're, if you're aiming to serve or to please others, you've got your reward. You've got your reward. Why go to heaven? You're getting your reward right now, right? So we have to be careful. We have to be careful. And God, it says it right here. And it says, therefore, and I'm still in chapter six, just go a little further back. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, you know, when you do something, don't sound the trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. This is Jesus talking. But when you do something, when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret. And that your father, who sees in secret himself, will reward you openly. And that's it, okay? I'm going to stop with that. Uh, just remember where your focus should be. It shouldn't be so far in the future. It shouldn't be on making money. It should be in pleasing God. It should be in every action, in all that you do, 
you do for the glory of God. That's it. You don't try to make yourself better than anybody else. You don't try to, I don't know, get glory from others. Seek to please God. Be a good instrument of Him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. All right? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all you need will be given to you. All right? Right there. Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So I don't want to make this long. It's just something that was weighing on my heart. You know, I, I live in a place, in a culture where this attention is just too much, this this focus on materialism, this, this, I, you know, you got to have, you got to show off. You always have to have the best clothes and the nice cars and the biggest parties. And, you know, it's not what it's about. We come into this world naked with nothing. And we're going to leave the world with nothing and naked. And when we face God, Judgment Day, we will be completely naked and exposed. So, my friends, I pray that this has touched you, that, that you can, it can help you in some way. And that's my focus here. All right. Have a wonderful day.